What's going on everybody? It's Paul with another Ride Home Review. This week I watched, if you've been following along, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, directed by Guy Ritchie, um, and stars Charlie Hunnam, Jude Law, and uh, Jamon Honsu, and Eric Bana. Um, so the synopsis of the movie basically is a retelling of the legend of King Arthur, basically. Um, uh, so, for those who have a basic knowledge of King Arthur, it's just it's just Guy Ritchie's version of that story. So, um, well, let's look into the positives that I really liked about this movie, and it's pretty technical the of course I'm a fan of Roger Deakins the cinematographer so and so the cinematography is absolutely insane it is really visual um, and very well it's what you expect out of somebody with the skill of Roger Deakins he really amped up the visuals in this film and really created a, a world um, and so on uh, the visual effects uh, it's top notch uh, from the beginning to the end uh, the visual effects especially with the sword play and what was going on with that really well done and the editing of course uh, Guy Ritchie's films have a certain aesthetic quality to them um, and so along with how the visuals are going to be the editing has to follow that because of certain areas of the film in which the pacing pick picks up especially and the action sequences well that also um, brings me to uh, what I didn't like um, I just didn't think this movie had it uh, there were certain aspects of what Guy Ritchie usually does for his movies but it seemed forced um some of the acting seemed stilted it just you know and the story just felt really incomplete it just felt like way too easy to get from point a to point b and uh it just you know it's too bad because you know charlie hunnam has had two subpar movies right in a row within a month of each other. Uh, so the summer of Charlie Hunnam just isn't really working out. So, well, well there you have that. Uh, Jude Law was really good as a villain, um, but it really, he couldn't, he couldn't, uh, couldn't save this. And there were some, there were some aspects to the film in which it was just weird um, and I don't know it just didn't seem to fit and I really had a hard time understanding the the girl mage um I mean I thought that she was crucial but she was really hard to understand sometimes but uh well her character was crucial I it just it was just just strange and uh they tried to create something um that I just felt didn't work it just was like blah, uh, which was not what I expected from a guy. It's like, it's like he didn't put 100% into this one, um, and it really showed. Uh, decent cast, but just just went nowhere, really. And, you know, you really didn't feel for the Arthur guy. What to watch for, though, um, going back to the positives about how the visual effects and the editing and the the music even was really good was the scene in which it did a transfer of time it did like a time lapse of, so was, of Arthur as he grew from a child into adulthood I thought that was a really cool touch in showing that transition of time but other than that not really thrilled with this movie what did you think uh, just leave leave some notes in the comments uh, about what you thought about the movie 
uh, how do you feel about this? Do you like these? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to these on YouTube if you miss them on Facebook. Don't forget to like the Facebook page. So there you have it. My review of King Arthur, Legend of the Fall. See you next week.